Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to insert a data or a document into MongoDB using Golang driver. So I'll be using a very simple example. Let's begin with downloading MongoDB. Here, per your operating system, if it is Windows, you can click on Windows and then you can go to download center and click on this and you can select the current version and download it's very basic okay so once you have downloaded you have you should have something like this okay so you can create click on connect uh, fill in the connection field individually in that you can give the name as localhost and port as keep it as 27017 and click on connect see the coding part we need to install a package so we have to say go get go.mongodb it's a golang driver for mongodb package mean type as mongo field and field we can say string string JSON field string. Okay, let's copy this. We can change this to string field integer. This as this as int. We can call this as bool. So basically, we are going to pass three condition. One is string. One is integer. One we want to know whether it's true or false. So it's bool. Okay, now let's have our main function. We are going to keep this a very simple example. So first we are going to declare a host and port option to connect method. Next we can say option dot client apply URI. We can say MongoDB. slash local host the common local host for mongodb 2717 which we have just seen okay then we can say fmt dot print line and say client option type reflect dot type of type of client option okay now we can connect to mongodb and return a client instance so we will say client client error so mongo we have to establish a connection mongo connect context dot kudu from a client options you can say if error not equals to null mt dot print line mongo dot connect can say error comma error and say os dot exit okay now we can declare constant type of object this is to manage multiple api request so we can say ctx equals to context with timeout and say context dot background number 15 we can say time dot second now we need an access to mongodb collection to client dot database we can say first database this because this will be our first database dot we can say collection can call this as first collection okay and we can say fmt dot print line collection type we can say we have reflect dot type type of and now declare a mongodb struct instance for the document field and data so we can say one doc 
equals to mongo field we can say what was our fields we had field uh, field str so we can say this is our first data and it's very important and can give a comment and then we have our field int we can give any random number whatever we want to store field bool we can say it's true fmt dot now we can set print line we named it as one dog reflect dot type of one dog now we need to insert so we can say result comma insert error insert dot insert one ctx comma one doc if insert uh, not equals to name you can say fmt dot print line you can call insert one error but now we can safely exit the script on error so we can say os.exit else fmt.print line insert one result type we can say this as a reflect type type of result Okay, and we can have one more we can just copy this and we can change this to api result comma we can change this to result so we want to get the inserted id string let's do result dot inserted inserted id you can say fmt dot print line so inserted a new id anyway, we can copy this and we can change it to new id in the type a reflect dot type of Okay. This same date. I was maybe thinking about my date. And this is collection C. And Mongo. Didn't I call? Oh, I called it as Mongo field. fields. Okay. Now let's run this. Go run me down. Perfect. There it goes. So let's go to my database. Okay, uh, in case if you guys haven't connected, you can go ahead and localhost, same port and connect. Okay, my first database is here. And let's see. Let's, let's compare this together. This is our first database and it is very important. Is that my field message? Yes. And, and there you go. So guys, this was a very simple example of how to insert data into MongoDB using Golang driver. So guys, if you like my video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions, do put that in the comment. Thank you for watching.